scene from an amusement park. The boys are enjoying a ride in the merry-go-round. But oops, what happens? The boy slips off the merry-go-round and falls on the ground. Now, why does this happen? Did you notice one thing that the boy fell out of the merry-go-round and not inside it? So, what is the force that caused this incident? The force is centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is a type of force that causes an object to fall out of the rotating body. Therefore, the boy fell out of the merry-go-round. Therefore, since the earth rotates on its axis, the ocean currents too have a tendency to deviate away or flow away from the earth's center. We all know that earth rotates on its axis from west to east. So, if you throw a paper plane from the mid of equator to the north, you will expect it to land exactly straight in to the north in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. But this does not happen. What happens is that if you throw the paper plane, it lands to the right. This happens due to Coriolis effect because of which the paper plane deflects to the right. Now, if you throw the same paper plane from the equator to the south, it does not land straight to the south. What happens? That it deflects to the left. This happens due to Coriolis effect. So, in our previous video, we saw that due to Coriolis effect, the direction of paper planes are deflecting or changing. So, what is this Coriolis effect? So, Coriolis effect is a type of centrifugal force which causes an object to move away from the center of the rotating body or it is a kind of deflective force which deflects the direction of winds and of the ocean currents. So, when the earth rotates on its axis from west to east, the ocean currents flowing towards the north gets deflected towards the right. So, the ocean currents gets deflected to the left due to Coriolis effect. So, the ocean currents takes a clockwise movement, see, in the northern hemisphere. Whereas, they take an anti-clockwise movement in the southern hemisphere. So, do you see Coriolis effect which is a kind of centrifugal force caused by earth's rotation causes the ocean currents to deflect or deviate from their original path. That is why we can see these patterns formed by ocean currents. So, in our previous slide, we saw that due to Coriolis effect, the direction of ocean currents are changing. That is, they are deflecting to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. So, in the broader view, we can say that the ocean currents follow clockwise patterns. See? in the northern hemisphere, whereas it follows anti-clockwise pattern in the southern hemisphere. So, here we find that earth's rotation is an important factor which affects the movement of ocean currents. How? The ocean currents rotate clockwise in the no northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Now, we will learn about another important factor which affects the movement of ocean currents. That is the shape of landmass. Here, we find that a current which is the south equatorial current coming from the east hits the state of Brazil and bifurcates into two parts. It flows towards the north as the north equatorial current and Gulf Stream and towards the south as the Brazilian current. Now, why does this happen? 
This is because look at the shape of the landmass here. The shape of the landmass is jutted out or protruded outwards because of which it obstructs the flow of ocean current for which the ocean current actually see bifurcates into two parts. So here in this video we learn that how the shape of landmass or relief features is a significant factor that affects the flow of ocean currents. So before we proceed with our lesson, can you help me to answer this question? What causes clockwise and anti-clockwise movements of ocean currents in the northern and southern hemispheres respectively? Is it the Coriolis effect, the rotation of the earth, centrifugal force or all of the above? Well, the correct answer is all of the above. This is because we just learned that Coriolis effect is a kind of centrifugal force which is caused by the earth's rotation which eventually affects the movement of ocean currents. That is the ocean currents act move clockwise in northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. If we look at our globe, we find that there are temperature differences in different zones of the earth, which is the torrid zone or the tropics are very hot, that is they have very high temperature. The temperate zone are comparatively warmer and the frigid zone which is located near the poles are cold, that is they have very low temperature. Now, due to these temperature differences, pressure belts, that is the high pressure belt and low pressure belt exist across the globe. Now, we will study how these pressure belts affect the movement of ocean currents. Now, let me introduce to you the various pressure belts that exist on the globe one by one. First we have equatorial low pressure belt, it exists in the tropical zone. Now the low pressure belt that exists in this zone is known as equatorial low pressure belt because equator passes right from the mid of torrid zone. Therefore this low pressure belt that exists here is called the equatorial low pressure belt. Now we can see here two more pressure belts. They are subtropical high pressure belt. Now why this subtropical belt exists in these positions? Now we know that the temperate zone have comparatively low temperature than the tropics. So the air in this region becomes colder and denser therefore sinks down creating a high pressure zone. Therefore, we have subtropical high pressure belt in the northern hemisphere right around and in the southern hemisphere we have subtropical high pressure belt from where the Tropic of Capricorn passes right in the middle of it. Now we will study how these pressure belts guides the movement of planetary winds. The first type of planetary wind that we will discuss here is the trade winds. We can see that in the northern hemisphere the trade winds blow in northeast direction while in the southern hemisphere it blows in southeast direction. We know that the winds always blow from high pressure region to low pressure region and we already know that since the subtropical high pressure belt is located here and the equatorial low pressure belt is located here 
So the trade wind blow from subtropical high pressure belt that is from the temperate region to the equatorial low pressure belt. So when these trade winds blow in the northern hemisphere, they follow northeast direction. They do not move straight but follow a specific direction that is the northeast direction. Hence they are known as northeast trade winds. And in the southern hemisphere, these trade winds again blow from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt that is from temperate zone to the tropics. And when these trade winds blow, they take southeasterly direction and therefore they are called southeast trade winds. There are two more pressure belts that is the subpolar low pressure belts in the northern and in the southern hemisphere. You must be wondering why low pressure belts exist here. Okay, first let us consider the case of Northern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, in this region, we have the Arctic Circle and the North Pole exists here. So, this region around the Arctic Circle is comparatively warmer than the North Pole. So, here the air being hotter and lighter rises up, creating a low pressure region. Again, consider the case of Southern Hemisphere. Here, the region around the Antarctic Circle is comparatively or relatively warmer than the South Pole. So, again, the air in this region being hotter and lighter rises up, creating a low pressure belt. So, now what happens? Westerlies, another planetary winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt. And why they are called westerlies? Because they blow from southwest to the northeast. Actually, they flow from the western part. That is why they are known as westerlies. Again, see in the Southern Hemisphere also, the westerlies flows from west. So, therefore, they are called westerlies. Finally, let's see what happens in the polar region. So, the air in this region is colder and heavier. Therefore, it sinks down, creating a high pressure region. Therefore, polar high pressure belt exists around North Pole in Northern Hemisphere and around South Pole in Southern Hemisphere, we can find another polar high pressure belt. So, now let's see how these pressure belt influence the movement of another planetary wind. So lastly, we have the polar winds. We can see that the polar winds in this case also blows from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt in northern hemisphere. In southern hemisphere also, the polar winds blow from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt. So you see how the existence of different pressure belts across the globe influence the movement of these planetary winds. We will see that the ocean currents move in the same direction in which the planetary winds move. We already know that the trade winds exist in the torrid zone. That is right below the Tropic of Cancer and above the equator. We already know that the trade winds follow a northeast direction. So when these northeast trade winds blow in the northern hemisphere in this direction, they push 
the north equatorial current towards the coast of japan therefore in the northern hemisphere we can see that the north equatorial current flows in this manner because the trade winds pushes them in this direction now north equatorial current rises or originates from the torrid zone therefore it is a warm current so it warms the coast of japan it gives rise to another warm current which is the kuroshio current so here we see how trade wind which is a planetary wind is affecting the movement of an ocean current here the current is the north equatorial current let me give you another example of how planetary wind affects the movement of ocean currents westerlies is a type of planetary wind which is prevalent in the temperate zone we have already learned about this now the temperate zone lies between the arctic circle and the tropic of cancer in the northern hemisphere now look at this map it is the map of atlantic ocean specifically the northern part of atlantic ocean an ocean current exists in this region which is the gulf stream now you see that the gulf stream flows in this direction but suddenly it deflects and moves in this direction but why does this deflection happen this deflection happens due to westerlies we have already learned that the westerlies blows in this direction so therefore when the westerlies blows in this direction it drives the gulf stream along with it and the gulf stream flows as north atlantic drift towards europe so here we have seen another example of how planetary winds here westerlies influencing the flow of ocean currents now monsoon winds are also another type of planetary winds but monsoon winds have a very unique impact on ocean currents let me tell you why is the impact unique the impact is unique because the monsoon winds changes its course in summer and in winter that is there is seasonal reversal of these winds now these monsoon winds are mostly prevalent in the indian ocean so let us consider the map of india let us see what happens in india during summer we can see that during summer wet winds blow from sea to land now let me tell you why the monsoon winds blow from sea to land while the sea is relatively cooler therefore cold air exists here which is denser and therefore high pressure exists here we know that the winds blow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone therefore the monsoon winds during summer blow from sea to land and when they originate from the arabian sea they carry moisture therefore we have rainfall during summer in india now i have already told you that there is seasonal reversal of winds what happens is that during winter the scenario changes it becomes just the opposite what happens is that during winter the winds blow from land to sea why because during winter the land is relatively cooler than the sea so the air is cooler and air denser therefore settles down creating high pressure zone over the land whereas in the sea the air is hotter and lighter therefore rises up creating a low pressure zone therefore the winds blow from high pressure zone in the land to low pressure zone in the c now the winds are dry 
Why so? Because it blows from land to sea and does not carry any moisture. Therefore, we do not usually experience any rainfall during winter in India. So, we have understood that how monsoon winds blow in Indian Ocean during summer and winter. Now, since the direction of monsoon winds changes, it influences the flow of ocean currents as well. So, the ocean currents follow southwest direction in summer, whereas they follow northeast direction during winter. So, here we have understood another example of how movement of planetary winds influences the circulation of ocean currents. So, today we learnt about other factors that influence the circulation of ocean currents. We learnt about Earth's rotation. Earth's rotation causes the ocean currents to deflect in clockwise pattern in northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise manner in southern hemisphere, which happens because of the Coriolis effect. We also learnt how relief feature and shape of the landmass obstructs the movement of ocean currents and hence the ocean currents changes their path. We further learnt about various planetary winds like trade winds, westerlies and monsoon winds which affects the circulation of ocean currents. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now